Hello everyone, uh, this is Duncan Benedict. I will be running these tutorials. Um, I'm not the best at it, pretty new to this, but I do have uh, an extensive amount of experience in graphic design, advertising, uh, stemming from being the art director of one of the biggest record companies in the world, to uh, designing senior designer for the largest holographic imagery company in the world. I've done work for Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Harley-Davidson, Indian motorcycles. Uh, I mean, my list is extensive, and I've been doing this since uh, uh, before computers even existed. Um, not to give away my age, um, but that's about how old I am. And uh, this is what we will be studying: is I am going to turn you pro um, from no knowledge to medium knowledge. I'm sure uh, through these videos you will find something for everyone. And um, we're going to begin with Corel Draw, basic fundamentals. Uh, you can use Illustrator if you like, but uh, Corel Draw is obviously going to be what I'll be using, and it'll be the easiest thing if you're going to follow. Um, version is not important, as you will learn over the years, uh, as I have. Um, software programs, drawing programs, they sell a lot of them, they make new versions, but in general they all have similar functions and those are the most important functions. Most software programs, everything was created in the first version with the exception of one or two items. Uh, from the first version to version 50, 100, 1000, it really doesn't matter. The basic functions and the most important ones that you'll need were all in the very first one. And I will be explaining that as we go. So save your money, don't waste it. Um, don't keep upgrading because uh, even myself, I, I gave up upgrading at nine. I found there was a little difference and it sure wasn't worth the money. Uh, I know the software company is probably gonna hate hearing that from me, but uh, in general, until things become holographic and they're popping off your screen, there's not gonna be much change that uh, really benefits you in any way. So, um, We'll begin with Corel Draw. I'm using version 9, as you can see up here, but like I said, it really doesn't matter what version you use. Um, one thing I'm going to mention is I use a lot of these programs just like I used to use paint brushes and a paint palette. You know, each program uh, is a paint brush. Corel Draw is like, picture it as one style of a paint brush, maybe a pencil. Uh, photo paint is your paintbrush. Corel draws your, you know, your pencils, sketch pencils, your 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 pen, pens, pen and ink, that kind of thing. Um, you'll see what I mean. But basically, this is the the fundamental differences between Corel Draw, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, uh, Corel Photo Paint. Is um, Corel Draw and Illustrator are PostScript format uh, programs, and Corel. Photo Paint, Adobe Photoshop, those are pixelated programs. They're used, those are used for making photographs, while Corel Draw are really used for making pamphlets, booklets, posters. Um, originally, Corel Draw was called Ventura Publishing, which was the publishing program of choice by all publishers when computers first came on the market. And probably that's the reason I'm still using Corel Draw. I find it handy. Illustrator is great. I use Adobe um, Photoshop CS6 for all my photo manipulation type work because I have a preference over that over Corel Photo Paint. Um, but I use Corel Draw with uh, as a preference over Adobe Illustrator. But that doesn't mean one's better than the other. It's just personal preference. That's all it is. Um, I find the functions are just more convenient for me. So we will be. Using Corel Draw for our first one, our first tutorial, I'll be easing you into other programs like Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, but we'll start with Corel Draw because um, it's probably the easiest one for me to teach and um, a very good one for you guys to uh, jump into becoming professionals really fast. I mean, lightning fast. The, 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 the basic thing is just stick it out with me. You'll see. I'm going to jump you through the main important functions, the you know the menu up here, um, such as the this this part here. We'll we'll cover the menu. Um, we'll also be covering the toolbar, which is over here to your left. Um, 
these are the different functions you'll be using you know when you get started and another important factor will be um, obviously your your color palette here um, and a status bar which tends to show up somewhere around here but everybody's program's a little bit different so as a beginning just to give you a general jump into it we will hit five we will hit new and that just basically brings up your creative desk so um, this is your workspace it's file new it jumps on the screen you have two to close, don't close the red one, that's the, your program, but you can close the small one here, do or control N, that puts it on the thing, close it, file, new, it's on your screen, little X, close it, then you file, new, this is a good exercise, and there's three buttons, if you minimize, it comes down to here, you can jump it up with the small button, again, minimize it, this jumps it up, this will bring it to this type of thing, the middle one. This will scale it back up. The middle one brings it to here. Scale it up. Minimize to the bottom. Bring it back up. Close. Okay. New. There it is again. Closed. File. New. There it is again. Closed. File. New. It sounds repetitive, but this is just to get you to understand that's what it takes. That's it. Period simple way to open up and get started that's as simple as it gets um, the next tutorial i'm going to teach you how to scale your work environment and setting up your work environment and get you just a little bit familiarized with that and then we'll jump into um, once we get that part done we'll i'll cover this part up here first uh, in the next tutorial just so you understand how to size and scale it then I'll show you this part here. Not that it's really important at this point of the game, but we will go over this, and I'll be teaching you how to um, add pages, remove pages. This is great for a lot of things. Um, if you want to do learn animation really fast, this is awesome. Um, this part here, these are your tools, basic tools from your clicker all the way down to line tools, fill tools, and over here, again, your color palette. And then up here, this is your menu, which has many of drop downs. And this part here, right here, that usually coincides a little bit with your menu. For instance, your this part, cut, uh, copy, and your paste. So those the, the, these items above this one, okay. And then this is your new, your file, your save, and your print, but we'll go over that later. So that will be the end of this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one, and we'll get into setting up your environment and getting you a little more accustomed to that. So I'll see you there. Uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope that wasn't boring, but everything, whenever you start learning something, it really does start off a little bit boring. So um, hopefully uh, the next one's not quite as boring. See you then.